fix my hair. My God. Awkwardly, mate. Sorry, this is so up close and personal. Sorry. Let's do the mirror check. <laughs> Much better. Boop, boop, boop. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing so good. Thank you so much for watching my videos week on week. It really means so much to me because YouTube has always been such a huge passion of mine. Or if you're just stumbling across this video for the first time and you haven't subscribed and you don't know what this video is or who I am, thank you so much for watching. Anyway, today we are gonna do my everyday makeup routine. I feel like you guys have been asking for an updated everyday makeup routine and I haven't been fulfilling. So here is the video for you guys. Thank you so much for your interest. I feel like my makeup is definitely kind of found itself in terms of how I want to do it. Um, it's very easy, glowy, natural, bronzy, warm makeup. Um, but the products I've been using are so different from the last video I filmed. So I'm really excited to show you some exciting new products that I have just been absolutely loving. So I filmed this whole video. I hope you guys love it. If you've got any questions, please feel free to just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. But yes, this, I feel like this would be a really good first installment of the new beauty series here on YouTube. Just my everyday makeup routine personal favorite of mine is the vitamin enriched face base from bobby brown i have used this for so so long it's just a great everyday moisturizer primer and i just feel like it sinks into my skin oh it smells so good and i just feel like it doesn't mess up my makeup so again i've got very dry dehydrated skin so i actually do need quite a lot but you might not need as much as i've just put on and then yeah, I just go in and I make sure that that's all kind of blended in, absorbed in as well. Now my skin's quite reactive when I touch it. So if you see my skin going a little bit red, it's literally just because you could touch my skin and it's, there's like a fingerprint. <laughs> it's very reactive. Um, so I just pop that in and it's lovely because it's not too glowy and it's not too um like slippy so it's great for makeup but my skin feels so much more like drinked up terrible english but you know what i mean if the lighting's going in and out i apologize i just want to make this video really casual just like me and you chatting um so it might not look consistent the whole way through if that makes sense so this is the elf halo glow liquid highlighter this is incredible this is in the shade for medium now i was addicted to the charlotte tilbury flawless filter still am it's an incredible product this is kind of exactly the same thing i don't know how they get away with it i really don't so i've been using this and i have been loving it and i've just been putting that all over my face to give me a little bit of color because my face tan comes off a lot quicker extra glow and again extra bit of moisturizer i'm not too sure how this would look again on oily skin so this probably everyday makeup routine i'm doing with you now is probably going to be best for girls who've got dry skin I'm literally rolling up my sleeves as we speak so for this product i've tried all different types of ways but i actually feel like the warmth of your hands is best for putting on the uh, halo glow i just feel like it sinks in so easy compared to a brush the brush always seems to leave uh brush strokes across the face or it takes up too much of the product I try not get too much near my eyebrows because we're about to do brows and i feel like i do my brows with my first makeup so that no makeup sticks to them but you do need kind of a drier surface um so try not get too much products near those brows i would recommend but this is kind of see the glow <laughs> i'm looking like a glow ball like i could never wear this product out on its own i don't think because it's very glowy but it's perfect as like a base before you put in your foundation we're gonna go in with the brows and oh my gosh, have I not got the best brow product of all time. I was really hooked onto the Extra Strong Soap Brows, really hooked onto it. And then I've started using the e.l.f. Brow Lift in Clear. And this is absolutely fantastic. Just pop the brightness up there. I was looking a little bit dark. But yeah, this is the e.l.f. Brow Lift in Clear. And this is absolutely fantastic. It's the best brow product in the market, in my opinion. Um, let me zoom you in. I'm going to show you. But you get this little... um 
brush with it sorry mine's is so gross it's got a spoolie and this like spatula spatula end and it's fantastic because you can brush the brow product on and then use this spatula to kind of like i don't want to say spatula spatula to kind of place it onto the head now let me show you there we go you're gonna get a good little look here what's great about this as well you don't have to wet anything like you can just go straight into the product which i love like there's no faffing around so what i do first is i actually pull all the brow hairs down so that that side is completely coated and then i start to brush it up so that each side of the brow hair is coated look how easy that is this doesn't make you want to get this it's so affordable honestly this is my new ride or die brow product i absolutely love it and then you take this end of the tool and you literally take the flat side you just want to press it down i mean look at the difference properly lifts your face compared to this side i just i don't know what i would do without my brows and there you have your brows now because i do have a few gaps not so much at the front but i definitely do like around here and around here i'm actually going to go in with a brow pen as well but before you go in with the brow pen you kind of want this to dry because obviously you're using like this waxy substance let me show you what the inside looks like you're using this waxy substance so you actually want that to dry a little bit so while we're waiting for that to dry let's do some foundation and i'll take you out because there's a lot of eye contact i have fallen for an unexpected foundation favorite so this is the fenty beauty i think it's like pro longwear matte pro filter soft matte longwear foundations Ooh, foundations love a long name this is the shade Ooh, i don't think it has a shade i think it's just got a number 1m018 no ignore that the number is 290 and it's a really good match for me and i absolutely love this foundation it's the only foundation that feels lightweight but at the same time lasts genuinely all day and looks flawless all day so it is more of a heavier coverage but you can kind of build up depending on what you want i'm just taking this beauty blender i got from amazon and i love it it is so good it's like one of those marshmallow ones and i just begin to stipple the product in so you only need like one to two pumps and just start pressing that product in and it's not like a natural i mean it is a natural skin finish and it isn't it doesn't look cakey on but you're not going to see your skin through it if you know what i mean this is a flawless looking foundation like if you want to have that flawless base this is the perfect foundation for that and it's also a great foundation i find for keeping the rest of your makeup on in place so if you've got a particular cream blush or bronzer that you love but it just never seems to stay on use try it out with this foundation because i feel like this foundation really helps to keep everything else in place it's the perfect glue to keep all the makeup together and just make pay attention to kind of like around the brow area because you don't want to try and go over your brows because we're going to fill those in but it's just good and i'll always kind of take it around my neck as well to blend it because this part of my neck is always more pigmented than the top part that like gets no sun so you just want to try and make sure that that gets a little bit of love so i feel like you can see quite well here how it looks on the skin i just think it's really nice and it's not like i said it's not a natural skin finish it's flawless if you know what i mean but it doesn't sit weird on any texture it really does and it's not although it says it's matte it's a soft matte finish so i feel like it's still gonna have a little bit of like satiny sheen which i think is beautiful okay we've got two eye products i have been obsessed with the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin radiant concealer i have the shade 3.5 fair and also the cult classic i just recently got a mini size this is from rodeal the banana low lighter this is like the ultimate combo first of all how cute is that it's adorable so let me pop you in again because then we can have a look 
to see how these two look like really close up on the eye and how I apply it. So I go in with the low lighter first. You can use this low lighter as a concealer, but it's kind of just meant to be a brightening. I don't know why they call it a low lighter because it's much more of like a highlight basically. You can see under my eyes, I get very natural like red, blue pigmentation. So although it's not dark, like too dark, I get those strong color pigments in. So I could actually benefit with a highlight. Like look at the difference already that makes for me. And that's not even concealer. And I sometimes bring it down along here because I do get a bit of redness around my nose. But literally just tapping that in already, it melts into the skin so it doesn't look you know, too cakey or anything. And it means that it's such a thin layer, like you've seen I didn't slap loads on. It's such a thin layer that when I put the concealer on, my under eyes are still gonna look like my skin because this area here is so delicate that you don't wanna overpower it. So I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury and again, not too much, a little bit there, a little bit there, and a bit here, and a bit here. And that should be enough. I'm gonna put a little bit around my nose as well because again, I do get quite a lot of redness there. So I'm just gonna, again, the same technique. I love using fingers for makeup. There's a lot of things I don't use it for when it comes to makeup, but I feel like base products, cream products, there's nothing better than the warmth of your fingers to just kind of melt everything in together. Now I've gone for quite a light shade in the concealer, but I just feel like that helps to bring life to my face. <laughs> um, so I do go for a couple of shades lighter just to help bring a little bit of life in. But I hope you appreciate the um, close-ups I'm giving, but that's how that should all look. And I am gonna set the eye makeup as well, so let me show you the product I'm gonna use for that. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Brightening Flawless finish this is made specifically for the under eyes and I have the shade I think it's the very first one fair medium and it's a white powder here and just go in with like a little eyeshadow blush brush see how blurring and smoothing that powder is it's so good and it's just like a tiny amount there's no baking I have very you know, God, it's even good for brightening the top of your lids. But I have very dry skin, so I can't really bake. But just having that instantly, look at the difference. Smooths it out. And don't get me wrong, like this is unfiltered. So there's gonna be skin texture here for me. I do have textured skin in areas. But I just wanna show you like the difference a tiny bit of brightening powder can do. At this point, the brows should be dry enough to kind of go in with the brow pen. And I'm trying this kind of like really for the first time. I've just been trying it out. This is the Rodeal Brow Pen. I think this is from their new brow range. And I have been enjoying it. I like using a brow pen because I feel like it tugs less at the hairs. And I'm always trying to just <laughs> keep the little hairs that I have on my brows. So again, let me zoom you in and show you close up. I feel like the benefit of a brow pen is that you can really get fine textures throughout and i'm not trying to go you know too precisely here i'm just trying to create moments of fullness basically an illusion of fullness i don't like the idea of like drawing lines i feel like it does look false but i like the idea of creating some fullness in the areas where there wasn't fullness before so mostly around the ends basically in this little patch here what I like about this pen as well is it's not too pigmented so it gives you a little bit of playtime um, which I feel like you need when it comes to brows it gives you a bit of playtime and you can kind of draw strokes on I just feel like that helps so much. Next up, I'm looking a little bit flat, so let's do some uh, bronzer, the best part. I use a lot of bronzer, okay? So just bear this in mind. 
an unexpected hero has emerged for me this year and this is the long lasting bronzer from kiko o2 embracing sienna i first of all the packaging is giving it literally looks like it's wet i love it um but i just love this bronzer so much so i always kind of pop it in swirl and tap on the mirror all the mirrors of mine are so dirty and what brush is this i'm using this is the by terry dual n brush and i just go in and stipple and swirl that bronzer around my face i just think bronzer makes such a huge difference and we'll go down the neck as well because heaven forbid we forget about the neck and i always go in with oh hello hair i always go in with a second layer of bronzer because i love bronzer okay and i'd say that's probably as much bronzer as i want to do for now this is going to be such an elf heavy video but i just feel like i've just discovered them recently and i just think they're absolutely amazing and they're so affordable the products are high quality and high performing so i use a lot of elf this is the elf putty blush in the shade bora bora this is the color i know that looks scary but let me zoom you and show you just how beautiful this is on the cheek and then literally pressing it onto my cheek up into the high points of the cheekbones kind of in a circle circular motion now this is such a pigmented brush and the blush and the reason why i'm using a brush is it actually kind of helps to diffuse the product and make it a little bit less pigmented i like things that i can build in thin layers and i can control a little bit but it's so pretty because it's just the sweetest freshest pop of pink do the other side and mirror it up of course i love doing blush it's so satisfying i feel like it's such a good little final color stage isn't it mm. and i love this and i actually have found for a cream blush this is one of the longest wearing cream blushes on the market it's their orgasm foreplay blush quad didn't mess around with the names did not mess around with the name look can i get this open oh the blush is beautiful but i really enjoy this highlight here actually shall i just do a little swirly swirl i know you're meant to use these individually but i just love dipping my brush into all the colors so i just think if you do it it's going to create like the most perfect shade so pretty but anyway let's get on to the highlight let's zoom you in for this because it's, it's not too much basically is why i like this highlight i don't like a highlight that is like blinding and looks super powdery i want a highlight that almost looks wet and i just think that is so beautiful i'm just loving using that at the minute and i'll put a little bit on the nose Actually, it's quite nice to use your hand. There we go. For the nose points. And I'll actually put a little bit on the tip here as well. But yeah, healthy, glowy skin. So that's the base done. So we're just going to do eyes and lips. So for eyes, you guys are going to get really annoyed. But this is the Beauty Pie Super Color Coal Eyeliner. And it's in their nude shade. I think it's called Bright Eye. This came in a set. So I'm not too sure if they sell individually. But any kind of nude crayon eyeliner will work. But I just want to show you the difference. I've been using this like every single day. It's not something I used to use. Now I use it every day. And I just feel like it makes a huge difference to my under eyes. Okay, watch me do this one. And not that one. And you'll see the difference. Like, why does this one look so much bigger and so much more awake? When I realised the power of this, I was like, what have I been doing my whole life? So, let's go ahead and do the other eye. And this is what I've been using every day. It's such a good little hack in looking more fresh and much more awake. I just... What I've been doing and because I'm not I don't really wear um bottom lash mascara anymore I just feel like this really helps to kind of open up the eyes but um 
Let me do some mascara. I'll keep you at this point because it's so much easier. I curl my lashes using the Laura Mercier eyelash curler. You can use any eyelash curler. I never used to curl my lashes. And now that I've started, I can never, ever stop. It is such... It makes such a huge difference. I'm sorry if this is quite squeamish for you guys. It makes such a huge difference to your mascara application. I don't even know how I managed to do my mascara before. I literally do this all the time. And I just kind of do these pulsing moments. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I do what I do. <laughs> it's so much better. I mean, this is when you know you love something. All of the branding is completely off. This is the Beauty Pie Uber Volume Mascara in the shade Brownie. It's a brown shade, um, which I think is amazing for everyday wear. This isn't as good as it used to be because it's pretty dry and I need a new one. But let me show you just how good this mascara is. I mean... The way it catches every single little lash but still somehow looks natural like it literally looks like I've been adding extensions like I've been getting so many questions about my lashes on all my videos and things recently and I think it's because this mascara genuinely makes it look like you've got lash extensions it's like magic I absolutely love it and I don't do too much that's like one coat there but it's so good. I absolutely love it. Let me do the rest of them and I'll be back. And here are the lashes with two coats. Sensational, isn't it? I absolutely love the mascara. They make them like so fluttery and lengthened. I just, I love it. And there's no clumping. I'm so happy. Lip wise, I'm so not simple when it comes to lips. I'm so sorry. I've always got three. Now this is the ones that I've been using so much recently. It is the MAC Spice Lip Liner. The Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect Lipstick. And then as a topper, I've been using the Lip Plump Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump by Tarte in the shade Primrose. I've been loving these three together. And I do overline, and I feel like lipstick for me makes the biggest difference. I'll get myself a little minute. Yeah, I feel like brows and lipstick for me are like, they go hand in hand in terms of like framing my face and just making my face look so different. Let me show you. So I love a good overline. I might zoom you in actually. I always feel like the MAC lip liners are some of the best formulas ever and like no one can beat them and it's been like this for years. Mm, kind of even, eh? <laughs> I feel like it's so hard to talk and do your lip liner at the same time. But I just feel like they glide on the MAC ones. They really glide on them. I'm just checking that it's completely even at the top. The key is to actually not overline here but around here. You want to try and keep that as close to your natural lip line as possible. Then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect Lipstick. I love this because it's the perfect nude in my eyes. It's peachy, it's pinky, but it's like beigey. It's just so good. Mmm. And it's so moisturizing. I think it's so pretty. I absolutely love that colour. But again, I'm a dry girl. I've said this many times in this video, so I apologise. So I need gloss. I love the push up application of this. And this just gives you that little bit of sheen. But yeah, this is the full face. I don't really powder anything else because my skin will drink this up within a second. If I was to powder, it would maybe be a bit on my chin and a bit here. But I weirdly don't mind that. I like the skin to have some kind of skin texture to it. But this is like my everyday 
go-to makeup it's like there's no eyeshadow there's nothing too fussy to it but it's just what i'm really enjoying to make me look a little bit more awake and fresh but i know you guys have been requesting this video for a while so i'm so glad that i finally managed to get around to filming it and I really hope you enjoyed doing this makeup with me. If you've got any questions on any of the products whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below and I can get back to you. Or if you've got, now we've got kind of the everyday makeup out the way, if you've got any makeup videos that you're looking for, makeup reviews, uh, makeup looks that you would like me to do or tutorials, then please do let me know because I can like write them all down for my ideas and get them filmed for you. But thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys again soon.